So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video and today we're looking at a Duchy of Brunswick one penny coin and I've got Wolfram Butel but that was actually a precursor state, Brunswick Wolfram Butel and this state was actually established in 1918 as a successor state to that name which I've got here and this one is a very curious coin so it is actually a German state coin, so if we have a look at the actual territory. So here we have the actual territory and you can see in the orange is the actual state this coin was actually minted in. And pretty much around it is Prussia. So we have a Königreich Prussia and the orange is all the actual state. And as you can see the capital was uh, Wolfenbüttel. And that's where it actually got its name from. Then we have our different other states, so Fernstein, Lippe Dortmund, Lippe, then we have our Waldeck around here, Anhalt, some Stein Anhalt, that belongs to the territory of Anhalt. And uh, a lot of the German territories are all disjuncted over this time. And this is because in the Middle Ages, the Royal families, they brought and sold different territories or they inherited different territories or territories were um, given to them by the uh, Holy Roman Emperor or there's a lot of different ways they actually got territories but pretty much individuals never, or poor people who, um, what we call serfs or peasants or whatever you want to designate them as never actually owned territories always in control of someone in power and that's pretty much how monarchies um, run their territories in the middle ages but I do quite like their coinage so if you see the actual coins got uh, one penny Scheidemund so Scheidemund just means it's a uh, coin that doesn't actually have the metal content of its value so the metal content of copper is actually worth less than one pfennig and this one's 1818 and they actually don't have any mintage figures for the actual coin then we have on the reverse or oh, this should be the obvious we have a uh, so it actually starts up there so we have George the Gratia TM uh, Carloid the uh, is that PR? Let me have a look. Sorry, that's BR. Then we have ETL. And that just translates as George, Prince Regent of Carl, Duke of Brunswick, and it Lundberg. So George, we're talking about here is uh, George IV of, of the United Kingdom who was related to the royal family especially the Prussian royal family and this royal family because at this time they, they pretty much had a circle which they just transferred royal families to different parts of a giant royal family and a new royal family had come up by uh, military power and uh, he actually was regent for Karl Duke of Brunswick and as you can see it has a horse so let me take it out you can actually see it better out of the actual cover because of the reflection so here we go you can see the this is the horse it's pretty iconic with uh, the Brunswick territories so if you get a coin with this think of Brunswick because it most likely is a coin from that place and you can see it's actually quite thin this is a copper coin so it actually uh, is the smallest coin that was actually issued by the territory. So Charles actually, what was his designated? Uh, Charles II, Duke of Brunswick, the eldest son of Duke Frederick William, who had been killed in a war. So, and was put under guardianship of George IV, the Prince Regent of the United Kingdom, and Hanover so if you know Hanover Hanover was a territory up until the 1950s um, George IV actually had control over that and I believe 
believe uh, it was lost because of some succession where Queen Victoria couldn't actually take it over. Well, that would have been the 1830s. So it was some, something like that. Uh, I need to read it up again, but that's just what I think from memory. Okay, the f first the young Duke had a dispute over the date of his majority. So that means the date he can actually take over the actual reign of this territory. Then in 1827, Charles declared some of the laws made during his minority invalidated, which caused conflict. After the German Confederation intervened, Charles was forced to accept those laws. His administration was considered corrupt and misguided. So that means this territory would have lost money and would have probably gone bankrupt if someone hadn't have intervened. But if you look at this coin, uh, it's actually seen a lot of wear. Obviously, the minting process was not good at this time because uh, the engraving is actually a little bit haphazard. And this pro was probably minted in probably Berlin, the capital of Prussia. Could have been minted in one of the other mints, but I'm not able to actually notice which one. It does have FR, but that's probably the engraver's initials. Which, New Mister doesn't actually say anything about it. And there's only two dates. Uh, I think there's two. 1816, 1818. Oh, there's 18, 19, 1820. So, and then... After that, they actually changed the design a bit. So, yeah, they changed the design a bit. Especially around here, under the date, they included more inscriptions. So this coins weighed about, about 2 grams and 20 millimeters. To buy these, you're probably looking at probably a minimum of $10. But what I've seen on eBay, probably in this condition, is uh, probably about fifteen to twenty dollars. You, if you're lucky, you can get it for ten dollars. But you're looking at more likely probably up to fifty dollars for one just in slightly better condition. So these are actually not very cheap coins to actually get, because even though I don't have the mintage figures, the population of the actual place, so uh, in 1910 was only half a million, so in 19, 1818 it probably would have been at 100 to 200,000. And these coins would have actually circulated because, well, people didn't have the doll, they didn't have money off the government, so the majority of people were poor, so they would have actually just saved and spent all the coins they could actually have. And that is also another reason why these coins in uncirculated condition are very expensive because very few of them would have actually been kept. Because um, most people could not have afforded to actually keep an uncirculated coin. So... And that is also why they're actually expensive in this grade because a lot of them also wouldn't have been kept and they would have been a low mintage and they would have circulated for a long time. Up until 19, 18, uh, not 19, 1874 when they introduced the German mark for United Germany. Anyway, hope you like this coin. I'll leave a link down below to eBay so you can see the types of German states coins you can actually find because I find them quite interesting and uh, if you see one for under $15 it's probably a bargain I would recommend you actually buying it and also um, this is actually one of the areas I like to collect very fascinating coin history all these different German states that come and go and this one was actually disestablished in 1918 and United with the Free State of Brunswick. So it formed a large big state. And the Free State of Brunswick is actually now um, part of uh, Lower Saxony in Saxony Anhalt. 
which was part of a uh, United Germany now. So anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope it was very descriptive and uh, gave you some information about this coin. And uh, I'm encouraging you to actually collect coins off German states because they're very, very interesting. Like the Italian states and Swiss can cantons. And uh, have an awesome coin collecting time. Thank you and bye-bye.